guys, it's Linda from The Crafting Depot, and I started this video already to show you how I started doing this. But I'm going to do it again because I love you guys. I hit the wrong button. So here are some examples of what I've been doing. Um, and I'm going to get the book out. I'm using... I am using... Let's move this over. I'm using a book that I have. It's an old vintage recipe book, and I'm using this to decorate my junk journals because I really like the way that it, you know, it looks. I love the um, the idea of it all. So what I'm doing next is you're gonna, if you're following me, you're gonna see that I'm gonna be filling. This will be the next journal that I'm gonna fill, and I think it's really dainty and really pretty, and it's a three pamphlet. Stit, three hole pamphlet stitch it has um, three signatures so we're going to go on a journey of filling this so it has avocado dyed paper and it has coffee dyed paper so it's all it's filled with this type of paper and we're going to jazz it up and make it look incredible so what I am going to do is I'm using one of these meat trays and um, we're going to decorate this, but this time I'm going to use, um, what is this? This is acrylic paint, and it is the color, I can't, it's crimson, crimson red. But I'm not going to use it as just crimson red. I'm going to add white to it so it comes out pink. All right, so let's close that up. And we're doing it again, and that's okay because we're going to fill this book. All right, what are you doing here to me? These things only happen when you're videotaping, but that's okay. You guys can wa probably enjoy watching me struggle, right? Okay, so we're going to put some we're going to put some uh, white on there, and then I took all my oh no I didn't I have these. Um, makeup sponges and we're going to use this and we're just going to mix it all up and we're going to get a nice pink rosy color i think that'll look great in that journal because it's got pink look it's got oh let me get my hands wiped it's got pretty pink flowers roses so we're going to um oh and before i do that i want you to know that what i did was I went and taped two pages together to give it more thickness when I'm using these pages. Okay, so here we go. We're going in. And we're just going to, there's no, no, um, no strategy to this. We're just going to, you know, use up this pink paint and give it a nice pink kind of background. And this will be different than the other ones. So it worked out fine. Yeah, you think you got me upset, but no, camera, you don't get me upset because I keep going. Yes, I do. I keep on going. This is not going to get me stressed out. Okay, no way. Okay, so we got that. And look, I got it on my, got it on the stencil. But we don't want that. I wonder how that would look if we took the stencil and used some, let's put a little bit more white here. Over here, we're going to just put white, and then I think I might use this paint to do some stenciling. So we're just going to brighten it up a little bit, and then what we need to do is get let this dry. So I'll put you on pause because you don't want to sit here and watch this dry after I do this. So, and then we'll go to the next. And how pretty is that? I mean, it really looks pretty. I love it. I really like it a lot. I like it a lot. Okay, nice. So now we're lightening it up, and it's got a nice, pretty, soft look. Okay, so I'm going to put you on pause. I'm going to make sure that I don't hit the wrong button this time. Okay? I'll see you in a minute. So I was going to clean up this um, pan here right now, and I said, nah. I'm not going to clean it up and instead of using my distress inks this time I'm going to try and go in there with the acrylic paint so I mixed the leftover white with the green because I wanted to get more 
pale looking and we're going to go in and see how this looks so we're going to do this okay so here we go we're going in and we're going to see I could, this reminds me of back home I used to um, stencil my walls in the living room and I think I might have mentioned this in the past I painted flowers as a border okay is that the yes it is painted flowers as a border around the living room and it really looked great and then when I went to my mom's in California she asked me to paint birds on her um, fence let's see how that looks oh god that looks good that looks awesome okay let's let's just do the whole thing why not why not right we're just playing here and we're gonna use up all the paint even though we don't have much left we'll try to see what we can get out of it now maybe some of it will be light and that's okay because we're crafters and we just like to play. Okay, here we go. I think I got it. Yes, I do. I think I got it. So I'm squeezing the extra paint out of the brush. Uh, not the brush, the, um, the makeup sponge. And voila, look at how cool that is. So I'm going to take this and move it over there. And I absolutely love this. I think it looks awesome really nice so what else can i do with this okay so i have um i need to let this dry right so let me i'll be right back let's let this dry so now that is dry while that dried i went inside and i cleaned off the um the stencil and i stuck my brushes in a tub of soap and water so they're cleaning and they can be reused again so the next thing I'm thinking, I, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm, this is all impromptu. So I'm going to take this out of the book. Let's see. I need my craft knife and I need a, um, I'm just going to use, because I don't want to lose this. I really like the way it came out. Excuse me, the hiccups. So I'll move this to the side. And I really love the way that this came out. And there's so many things that you can do with these. You can make pockets, you can make belly bands, side tucks, and we're going to do some. So this is only one of a few that we're going to work on. So this one, um, I would like to, you know, we could make, we could make, let me do it upside down like this. How would that look? Or does it go the other way? Wait, this is... We want it to go, yeah, we want it to go this way, and then we can make a really cute, let me see if that'll fit in here. Let's see. And I don't want, I don't want the book to get ruined, so I'm going to put this napkin down, and I want to see if that'll fit. No, it won't. So what I'm going to do, I mean, it would fit if I put it like this. But I think what I'm going to do is give it a rough edge. Um, and I I don't know if you remember, but in a previous video, I showed you that I took an old ruler and I scuffed it up. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to put it on the side like this. Wait, off the napkin. Put it on the side like that. And I'm going to put this over it. And I'm just going to, hopefully this works. And I just gave it a nice rough edge and then I'm going to go on the other side and this is really great material you want to keep that so we're going to go on the other side and we're going to do the same thing we're going to let's see we don't want to take too much off just take a little bit and hopefully I don't ruin it there Okay, so now we have two 
rough edges. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take out some uh, gathered twigs. You can use whatever you want. I'm using, I'm going to try the gathered twigs and see how that looks. Okay, so we're going to go with the gathered twigs. And we're going to go around. And you know what I, I'm going to do? I am going to take out the corner chomper here. And I'm just going to give the corner. I don't know which side is up or no. Okay, that goes that way. That goes that way. Yeah, we'll do both sides. There are no rules in this junk journal world. You do what you do you. Whatever works. And as you can see, I'm probably going to have to glue areas. Like I think I told you before, um, you may have areas that corners that aren't glued. Don't worry about it. You just go over it in the end and you, um, and this part did not cut, did not chomp. So we're going to chomperoo ourselves the corner. There we go. We got it. Put that back. And so all corners are chopped. Yes, they are. And now I'm going to sit down. Ugh. You know, it's so hard when I'm videotaping. I want to make sure that I'm in camera. Sometimes I forget and I'm not in camera. So I wind up standing up and then my back is killing me. So here we go. Enough of that. And we're going to make a really cute pocket for Miss Daisy over there. And she's going to like this. And we're just going to put in some, some distress ink. There we go. We'll put in some distress ink. And there we go. Okay. So now we're going to take her and put her up like this so you can see the writing is facing in the right direction. Okay, we got that. But what we need to do next is glue here and here. Now we could use washi tape or we could use glue. I think I'm going to use glue, but I have another idea. I want to show you something. I've done this before. This is a great little trick. Okay, take out another book page. Let me see if I remember how to do this. And then what we're going to do is fold it over. Let me see if, I, if that's right. Now we're going to need, we need two pieces, right. Okay, so we're going to take this and we're going to just rip along here. And then we're going to measure the length of your pocket and we're going to turn it over like that and then I'm just going to rip and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue it on one side so that when you open the pocket it just has a little bit more I'll show you when I'm done okay so I'm going to put this glue over here and I'm going to glue it here on the inside. Come on. Get in there. Get in there, you. And then this is going to come over and glue here on this side. But I think I have too much up here. So I'm going to take a little bit more off. Use my fingers and just rip that. Okay, now I have this side. Oh, I should have done the other side. I haven't done this in a while, so bear with me. Okay, get this side and just rip that off. So basically all I did was I took another book page, you saw me, folded it in half, and now this is gonna be this side. So it just gives you a little bit more um, opening over here so that when you open your, the recipient opens the envelope, and then you just, okay, let's get that. 
clump off. Come on, clumperoo. Off. Off. Okay, I don't want it to glue there. Definitely don't want that to happen. Okay, come on, glue. Off you go. All right, and then we're just going to fold it up. Close your glue. Because you don't want that to dry up. This stuff is expensive. And then, look what happens. When you open your pocket, it has a little bit more give. You know, you still have to be gentle with it. I mean, it's book pages. But that looks pretty cool. So that's going to go into our journal over here that we're working on. But before we do that, I want to add more to her. So I'm going to get out my pens. I'm going to get out my Pilot G2 pen. <coughs> and I'm just going to... Um, you know, go around like this, and I'm just going to do a little doodle, a little doodle a do ya. And it's and it's so easy; anybody can do it. And I'm just doing a little scribble here, and I'll turn it like this. Am I in camera? Yes, I am. Can you see me? Okay, there we are. And I'm just doing a little squiggly. Little squigglies. And I'm going to go around to the top. Just giving her a little character. And then I also have these Posco. Where are you, Posco? Where are you? Okay, I don't know where you are. Okay, I have so many things. Let me find her. Just when I put you on pause, I find her. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to shake her. So this is a Pasca, not Pasco, Pasca. It's a pen that gives you like dots. So I'm going to use this little thing here and make sure it comes out. Yep, there it goes. So I got this little dot. And I'm going to go around and just put little dots around here and give her a little bit more character and then she needs to dry probably okay we're gonna go you know what we're gonna do we're gonna go here like this and around oh my god I really like this I love crafting. I really do. Okay, that looks good. And we're just going to do a little couple of dots because we like to. And we'll do a couple of dots up here. And then what I want to do, I'm not done. So I probably should have done this on camera, but I'm always afraid it's not going to work. So I found this wipe uh, button. It was the first thing I grabbed. And it had one of these, you know, attachments on the back. So I just grabbed my um, jewelry pliers and I stuck it in there and I just snapped it off. Spared you the struggle of watching me struggle. Okay, so we're going to get out our um, Fabrifix. So Fabrifix is by Beacon, and it's great with fabric, lace, leather, trims, and more. So that's why I'm going to use it. It's like cock glue in a bottle, and I have it in this um, Sugar Bell bottle, which works really great. It's got a lot of glue on here. So what I'm thinking is just I want something where it can just tuck in. So I'm just going to put a little bit of glue right there, and of course a little bit doesn't come out. A lot comes out, and we don't want a lot. We just want a little bit because we we don't want the edges to have glue. Because we're gonna we're going to try and use that to um, let this tuck in. So I want this to be able to have a place for closure. How adorable is she? Now she will when she's dry. She'll be able to open and close and just tuck in like that. 
Although you don't need to do that. I just like the way it looks. So let's put her in our book. So um, I think what I'm going to do, let me put this here. I don't want her to get dirty. And I'm going to bring you up again. Okay, are we up? We're up. Okay. So we're up. So what I think I'm what I'm thinking of is opening this book and I want her to sit in here. So we're starting our new book here. And I'm gonna glue her on three sides. One, two, three. So that the recipient can tuck stuff here and then also tuck stuff. Oops, be careful, Linda. Tuck stuff inside. So um, let's get the glue. Gotta be careful. And we're going to stay there, please. We're going to put glue here, here, and here. And it looks like I ripped her already, so I'm going to have to fix that while we're on camera. So I don't want that to look like that. So what we're going to do for that little tiny rip, because I didn't give her t enough time to, um, to what do you call it, um, heal, I'm just going to take a little bit of glue here and I'm going to do that and then I'm going to get some washi tape let me get some washi tape be right back so never fear washi tape is near um, we're going to fix her inside and we're going to adhere her right there like that okay oh 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 Okay, there we go. And how pretty does she look now? Even prettier, so I'm kind of glad that that happened. Okay, so we're going to snipperoo that off. And then we're going to come back here. I'm going to stand up to make sure I do this right. And I'm just going to go around gently and snip. Get that off. And then I'm going to snip over here and get that off. So what you want to do is make sure that your button dries before you put any of this stuff on. And how pretty does that look? Let's get this over here. This needs a little... That's bothering me. So I'm going to get rid of that. Yes, I am. Okay. And I'm very happy with it. It looks really pretty. It's got roses and everything, and that looks nice. So that's number one. Let's move on to number two. Okay, so the next thing I also want to do is I want to get um, some more uh, decoration. So let's turn the page, and let's go to page over here. And then I want to take my... Um, over here we're gonna go over here I want to take my uh, stencil here and I want to put some um, distress ink on here so I'm, I'm contemplating what color I want to use and do I want to do okay let's do the brown let's do the brown okay so we're going to go in here and we're going to distress a little bit this page. I'm just going to give it a little little inking. Is that working? Yes. And it's just subtle. It's not too intrusive. It's not taking up too much. And then we're going to go up here and then we're going to add something to the top. Okay, here we go. And we're going to distress. Because that's what we like to do. Oh my God, that's gorgeous. That is really gorgeous. Ooh, pretty. Very pretty. And we may be covering some of it up. But that's okay. Let's see. Oh boy, that is really pretty. Let's put some more down here. Let's put some over here. 
And it's okay if we cover it. Because I think that's what I'm going to do next. Okay, so next I'm going to move this over and I'm looking to see what do I want to do next. Which one do I want? Okay, maybe we'll go with that. We're going to be using all of them. I don't know about today, but... Okay, so here I'm thinking um, how cute would it look to have to rip this to the side. I'm going to rip it down like this. And we're going to come down like that with our book page. And we're going to do a little ripping here. Like that. And I know what you're thinking. Oh my God, she just destroyed it. No, I didn't. We're making something beautiful out of it. Okay, so we're going to get some numbers. Put some numbers here. Um, not that. We want 6, 68. Okay, and then we're going to get some flowers because we like flowers. I'm going to put flowers down here. I'm going to put flower there. And there, and there, and we're just going to put flowers everywhere. How cute is that? I'm going to go over this. Okay, now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to distress. It's so weird looking through the camera. While I do this, da da da. Here we go. And where we land, we always know. Right? Crafters, friends, we know what we're doing. Not really. Yes, we do. <laughs> yes, we do. We know what we're doing. Because we, we just play and we have fun and we experiment. And before you know it, we come up with something really, really cute. And this is all with book pages. Can you believe it? I mean, seriously, can you believe this? I love it. Okay, so we got that. And now what I want to do is put her right there. Okay, let's get, uh, let's get the glue out. All right, so um, are we working, glue? Are you going to work? Yes, you are. Okay, so we're going to make a side tuck out of this piece of paper that we, book page, that we played with and had fun. And we're going to put that there. And then we're going to put place her, oh my God, honestly, whoever's watching this, I hope you do it. It is gorgeous so so far we made a really cute pocket and we made a side tuck so let's make something else let's move along let's turn the pages and we're going to go over here and now we're going to stencil um what kind of stencil am i going to use you got to see this place and believe me when i tell you when i am done i clean up there is no mess left here in the crafting depot. Everything gets cleaned. So that the next time I sit down, I can figure out where I am. Um, it's very important that you keep your room clean. It makes it so much easier um, energy-wise when you start crafting and making things. Because you want to be able to find your stuff, right? Of course. Um, you don't want to be stressed out trying to find stuff. Sometimes I have to stand back and look, hover over everything and just look. Because it, it happens too quickly. All right, here we go. We're going in. And we're going to decorate. We don't know what this looks like yet. It's all an experiment. I'm going to do this. And then we're coming, we're coming, we're going to make it so that it's, it goes halfway off the page. And I'm using festive, 
case you want to know, I'm using festive berries right now, but you can use anything. This is just a suggestion. It's not the gospel. Okay, here we go. Let's see. Oh my God, that's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Okay, I just want to do a little bit more here. Now, what would be interesting is using more than one ink on a page. Oh, that's beautiful. We got to go down here. We don't really have to, but I want to. Yes, I do. Okay, we're going over there. Let me see. Oh, I'm happy. Um, okay, so let me move this over. Put the brush away. And we have two more sheets. And we, oh, we have three sheets. Which one? I don't know which one. I wish you guys were here to tell me. Okay. What I want to do right now is I want to make a belly band. So I want to use the whole sheet. So I'm wondering, is that too much? Although it has the pink. I think I'm going to use this one. So we're going to make a belly band. So what I'm going to do is move this sweet girl over. And I am going to fold you, darling, over like this. And I'm going to make you into a really pretty, very pretty belly band. Okay, so what I need to do now is close this up, put this, where is my, put, the, put you back, you go back, and you go over here. There. Okay, sorry. <sighs> okay, so you're going to go glue there, so, and you're going to be facing up. Yep. Okay, so we're going to put glue on the back here, and we're going to fold you over, and then we're going to put glue here, and we're going to fold you over. And I think you're going to be too long for our book. Let me see. Ah, I'm going to hold this up in the air because there's too much stuff here. Yes. All right. So what we're going to do is give you a nice fold. And then we're just going to rip you like that. And then we're going to do the same thing on the other end. I'm going to give you a nice fold. And we're going to rip you here. Now... We want you to stand out a little bit more. So if I use the same um, distress ink, it's not really going to change, you know, it's not going to stand out. So I think I'm, you know, there's orange in here too. So let me see. I have our, I have carved pumpkin here. I have carved pumpkin. I don't know how that's going to look. It might be too much. No, it's too blended in. No, that's not good. All right, so we're going to go in with, where are you? We have gathered twigs close by, so that's why we're going to use gathered twigs. So we're just going to go in with some gathered twigs, which I don't hardly even see. Do we need to use the black soot? Yeah, I think we do. All right, because we don't see this. So let me get the, where are you? The dabber. This used to be for um, espresso, and I wound up turning it into black soot. Okay, we are definitely poppage. There's poppage happening here. Definitely. Look, this was hot potato salad. Oh, boy, when I was, when my kids were young, I used to have... The whole family at our house and I made a great homemade potato salad the trick is to mix your um, after you know you you boil your potatoes and you cut them all up in a separate um, jar mix up white vinegar with your um, mayonnaise you know you, you got chopped onions and all that in there oh my god it's delicious 
So that's my trick on. Okay, so let's get a. We don't want to mess up here. Where's the towel? All right, I'll be right back. So since this table is a mess, I don't want to dirty this sweet girl. So I'm going to put her there. And I think she looks gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. My opinion, though. You know. Just my opinion. Actually, what would look nice also is some... Uh, I could do it again. Some um, lace trim maybe around her. I think that would have looked really nice also. But how pretty is that? So in this... Um, video we made a nice I got the hiccups a nice pocket which has um let me see let me get a piece of an index card so you can put something in here and I showed you how to make the pocket so that and of course it's sticking okay because that's uh, yeah I put too much glue okay but that's okay it's open now so you have a pocket here and you have a pocket here and then it closes a little bit with this little button right there. So you got that. And then you turn the page and we have a cute, really adorable side tuck to put stuff in there. And then moving along, you have a belly band. We did this all with um, pockets, acrylic glue, acrylic paint, some doodling, and um, some Pasca paint and we could do more actually I am going to do more I'm going to do I'm going in with stickles and which one do I want to use I really like that oh we got pink oh we have this white now which one should we use I was saying lace would look really nice on this so I think I'm going to do the Let's see if this comes out. <coughs> yes, it does. So we're just going to jazz up the corners. One, two, three. And then one, two, three over there. Now, mind you, I will not be able to turn the pages again. So this will be the end of our video because this is going to have to dry. And you know what? I'm going to get a little daring here. I'm going to put some orange at the top. How do you like that? How do you like them apples? You didn't think I was going to do that, huh? Shocking. Okay, now we're now we're giving now he's giving me trouble. Okay, here we go. And then we're going to put three dots at the bottom. One, two, three. And um, you know what? We're going to put three here. One, two, and I'm not measuring. I don't know if this is exactly um, where the middle is, but that's okay. Okay, I love it. So here it is, the end of the story. And we made all these things. We made the belly band, the side tuck, and the zip pocket. And we are done. Here today at the crafting depot I hope you enjoyed this and I wish you all a wonderful day if you are interested let me tell you what I have here I have a, an Etsy store and in my Etsy store I have four journals uh, you can go to Linda's crafting depot to check them out um, if you're in a rush and you're looking for something to fill your journals I have this um, a lot of work went into these hours and hours um, so this is a um, writing journal that I made with Distress Ink, and it's been sewn on coffee dyed paper. Here is a really cute um, altered paper clip with uh, fabric. Here is an easy envelope with um, scrapbook paper. This is a um, butterfly with, made with material sewed on the back of um, some scrapbook, uh, not scrapbook, a coffee dyed paper and sewed all around. This is made with book pages and you have like three tucks in here. Here's a tuck, three spaces to tuck, an envelope, 
and I made this uh, whimsical house with backed on coffee dyed paper. So you can put that into a book by your choice. And then I also have fabric. So there's over 50 pieces of fabric and it's got ribbon and inside is um, lace. Let's see, there's vintage um, paper, in, uh, paper um, cloth in here and all kinds of things. I mean, you can make belly bands, you can make um, snippet rolls. I mean, you can decorate your journals really nice with these. And we're going to be using this in her. And then we have, da -da -da, we have pa paper packs. So in this paper packs are is rather um, napkin um, scrapbook paper some uh, more uh, paper and then I dyed avocado um, coffee um, turmeric there's blue paper there's some cardstock there's botanical pages there's um, all kinds of things tickets envelopes doily birds um, moths, butterflies, and lots of um, music paper. I can't even think anymore. There's a lot of stuff. This is packed really well. So it's all shipping is included on everything. If you're interested, go to Linda's Craft. Uh, yeah, Linda's Crafting Depot on Etsy and check it out. All right, have a wonderful day. Like, subscribe, please share, and uh, it helps me. Um, you know motivates me and everything and I wish you all a wonderful day so I'll see you on the next one bye bye